بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از یور انگلش پیریڈ فرسٹ وی سائڈ دعا ربی زدن علما او مائی لارڈ انکریز مائی نالج تو بیٹا وی آر اسٹڈنگ دا ناول دا جنگل بک اوپن پیج نمبر سیونٹین تو وی آر آن پیج نمبر سیونٹین بیچے اینڈ ہیئر وی ہیو چیپٹر تھری دی ایڈوینچرس آف موگلی اسٹارٹ ویڈنگ ود می Mowgli started living an adventurous and wonderful life in the jungle among the wolves. He started growing up with the cubs. He hunted and loved playing with them, though they grew up before he was a child. Mowgli was closest to his mother and his eldest cub, Grey Brother. Father and mother wolf took care of Mowgli and guided him about the ways and life of the jungle. Father taught Mowgli how to recognize every rustle in the grass, every breath of the warm night air, every note of the owls above his head, every scratch of a bat's claws and every splash of every little fish jumping in a pool. These things were as important to him as an office is to a businessman. When Mowgli was not learning, he would enjoy sleeping in the warmth of the sun, eat and then go to sleep again. When he felt dirty or hot, he would go to the forest pools to swim. When Father Wolf was away, it was Bhagira and Balu who stayed with Mowgli and taught him the meaning of things in the jungle. When he was hungry, he would climb on the branches to eat honey and Bhagira showed him how to do it. So here, yeah, beta, the first word is adventurous. Adventurous meaning full of risk, danger. And the second word is noch. Noch means single tone in bird song or call. All right, now turn the page. He would relish going with Bhagira into the forest and watch him kill his prey. Relish means enjoy. Bagheera also showed him harmful traps which were left by men. During the pack meetings, Mowgli would often stare into the eyes of the wolf cubs for fun and drive them away in a while. At other times, he would help his wolf brothers by pulling out long thorns from their pads and cords as wolves heard tamely from them. Balu, the big, serious, old brown bear, taught Mowgli the laws of the jungle. See? In this picture, this is Balu and it is teaching Mowgli the laws of the jungle. Balu told him that Tabaki, the jackal, Haina and the Bandarlok were not his brothers and should be avoided. Mowgli had to learn a great deal more than the young wolves learned from Balu. So Balu taught him wood and water rules, how to speak to the wild beast when he came upon a hive, what to say to Mung, the bat, if he was disturbed during his midday sleep, how to warn the water snakes in the pool before he splashed on them. Moreover, he learned the stranger's hunting call too, which must be repeated aloud till it is answered. Balu was delighted to have an intelligent pupil like Mowgli. When Mowgli was old enough to understand things, Bagheera told Mowgli that he must never touch the cattle as he was brought into the pack at the price of a bull's life. Alright, beta. So this is a picture you can see here. Now turn the page. Bagheera would often come to see how his pet was learning his lessons from Balu. At times, Balu would slap Mowgli for not learning his lessons well and seeing that Bagheera would protest. One day, it seemed Mowgli was irritated and tired of repeating the lessons again and again. This made Balu lose his temper and he cuffed Mowgli on his head. Seeing this, Bagheera got incensed, but Balu said, A man cub is a man cub. He must learn all the laws of the jungle. But how small he is! How can his little head carry all the long talk? Bhagira replied. There is nothing in the jungle that is too little to be killed. I want him to learn how to protect himself. That is why I hit him softly when he forgets, said Balu. Softly? grunted Bhagira. His face is all bruised today by your softness. All right, beta. So today it was all here. And the remaining chapter we will read inshallah ta'ala in next class. 
you read again this chapter enjoy yourself take care of yourself allah hafiz assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh